Amen. Judges, the fifth chapter, the 19th verse, and it reads, The kings came and fought. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. They took no gain of money. They fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Bow your heads with me in prayer. Father, I thank you for this apostolic house. I thank you that we're in the midst of an apostolic people. God, I thank you for new levels of warfare. I praise you right now that you are bringing increase to our authority in the spirit. God, I thank you that you are breaking barriers that have held up things in the heavenlies. And you are releasing that which is our portion for this hour. Jesus, this is a day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Because everything that you say is ours, it is ours. And God, I thank you that you are connecting us in the spirit so that as the people of God, we will walk in the anointing for what you have for us in this hour. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. I was just reading a passage of scripture from the song of Deborah. How many of you ever read that passage of scripture, the song of Deborah? That, that passage, it, 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 it's, it's, when, it's when they were singing about Deborah and Barak and about the, the battle that they had won. Most of you know that story when, when Barak told Deborah, you know, I'm not going to battle, you know, unless you go with me. And she said, I'll go with you, but, but, but I, I must warn you that if I go with you, you will win the battle, but a woman will get the credit for it. Amen. And, and, and you know, um, we, we all know about J.L. and that, that powerful woman that would just happen to be in place and took this great enemy called Sisera out. And uh, I, I want to just take you behind the scenes a little bit because everything that I've just uh, disclosed and discussed with you is what was up front. But let's talk about what was going on behind the scenes? Did you know that that's what warfare is all about? Warfare is not about what you see people doing up front. Amen. Warfare is about what goes on behind the scenes. The powerful people are not the ones up front. Oh, uh, y'all gonna, y'all gonna, y'all gonna get what I'm saying. I'm talking about the real folk that carry weight in the spirit. You probably, pro probably don't even know their faces. The real people that hail fear and the gates of hell tremble every time they open their eyes in the morning, you probably don't know their names. So let's talk about what went on behind the scenes in the battle. See, because when you understand the battle behind the scenes, that's when you really can get a warfare mentality. Too many people are distracted by trying to do things up front to impress people to make them think that they are powerful. Any, anybody that, that, that's trying to prove to you that they are powerful, I can assure you that they are not. Powerful people don't have to prove nothing to nobody. Because their power is not in who they are, but it's in who he is. That their power is, is not in what they can do, but it's how they are connected. Amen. See, you got to understand that uh, everybody is connected to a heaven. And the power that you walk in on the earth realm depends on what heaven you're connected to. You either got the power to tread on serpents, the power to cast out demons, the power to prosper, or the power to sin, cuss, and fuss, and raise hell. Amen. And it's determined by where you are seated in the spirit realm. Amen. You know, and so I want to talk about what happened when 
Jael took Sisera out. Can you imagine that Sisera was a terror? Sisera was a type of Goliath that was coming up against the people of God. Sisera was, was something to deal with, and he could not be dealt with. They could not put their finger on Sisera. Now, with your, with your intellect, can you figure out how could Sisera slip through all of these armies and not be touched by no one and slip up into a tent of a little woman named Jael? And all of a sudden, he's taken out. Not by a bazooka. Come on, y'all ain't understanding me what I'm saying. Not, he wasn't machine gun down. Uh-huh. It was just a simple hammer and a nail. Let me tell you something about real warfare. Some folk are trying to wait until they get resources to do warfare. But real warfare is when you use whatever you got You may not have a Scud missile. Come on, somebody. You, 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 may, you may not have one of those big tractors. But what you will have is you'll have the will of God. Come on, somebody. To do what God has you to do, being in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing with the right people. JL's power was the fact that she was in place. She just, come on somebody, it wasn't deep. She just happened to be in place. Oh my God. And I think that God is, is, is I, I believe that he's smiling. Because there are some people in the body of Christ that are getting in place. Something happens when the people of God get in place. That there are things that take place in the heavenlies. And that's what I want to talk about tonight. When I read this passage of scripture, it says they fought from heaven. And it says the stars in their course fought against Sisera. So I want to let you know that Sisera was taken out long before he got to JL's tent. Look at your neighbor and tell him it's already done because the battle is already won. See, all J.L. had to do was to get in place. All she had to do was obey the Lord. Somebody might have been looking for somebody to touch and agree with. One could put a thousand to flight, two, ten thousand. Help me, somebody. But is there anybody up in here that can touch and agree with heaven? That's where your real power is. When you have a direct line with the heavenlies. The Bible says that the stars beat Sisera down before he got to J.L.'s tent. That's the kind of warfare that God is bringing in the church that stuff going to be taken care of before, help me somebody, we even get there. Do you have a better revelation? Revelation. 